Welcome back to Monroe's Corner. We back with another reaction today. We got Dave Chappelle at the Laugh Factory, all right? <laughs> hey, man. Uh, shout out to Dave Chappelle, man. I'm glad he's okay from yesterday's incident. Uh, the other day incident, man. Dude tried to tackle him on stage, tried to take him out. I heard he had a gun or whatever. They saying it's a fake gun or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? It's still crazy, dude. Try to just... You know what I'm saying? Take take my man out. Like you're like, what, what's up with that, man? We have to we have to put we have to uh we have to protect our comedians, man. We gotta protect our entertainer. Take anybody that's on that stage. It gotta be better measurements put in place, you know what I'm saying? Better security measurements put in place. That was just insane. Alright, so let's get it, man. New channel goal 10k. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notifications on because I'm uploading every day multiple videos every day man y'all keep turning up for me i'm gonna keep turning up for you so let's keep the momentum going and subscribe baby subscribe let's go and i'm scared to live i'm not scared to live but it's scary <clears throat> out here god damn i know how flimsy this shit is i can see through this i can see the truth there's an animal inside each and every one of you mm -hmm. it's not good <laughs> Shit is real. Listen, I was looking at the paper the other day. I'm not making this up. <laughs> like the dude who rushed him on stage. <laughs> There's a serial rapist in Houston. There's nothing funny about serial rape, but <laughs> what is noteworthy about this particular rapist <laughs> is that all of his victims have been men. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you clapped about that. It's a man raping men in Houston. That's the most gangster shit. So far, like... <laughs> it's most gangster shit. Like, like yeah. seven men have already come forward in the Houston area and reported this motherfucker, which, which means he must have raped thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Because if only seven came forward... It's a tough call for us to make. Yeah, that's a tough call. That's a tough call to make. It's you not take that to you the grave. Ladies, there's no uh, society don't give a fuck about male rape. There's no hotline for us. <laughs> Man get raped, you just gotta get up and walk that shit off. Huh? <laughs> got raped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Call> me slipping. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you gotta take that shit to the grave. <laughs> oh, fact. Yeah, it took your manhood. Couldn't even tell my wife some shit like that. Come on, all disheveled and shit. Hey, where have you been? It's three o'clock in the morning. Out fucking another woman. Just go back to sleep, okay? <laughs> you know what I hate ever since I walked away from that show? Is that uh, people keep trying to give me advice. Cause I guess I've been like depressing. She know you'd be depressing and people be like trying to cheer you up. Mm -hmm. And then I had not show business. That's what made me so mad about it. So they'd be saying stupid, hey Dave, look, I know that was a rough experience and I can only imagine what you've been through, but you know, you just gotta hang in there. And what you gotta do is you just gotta keep your chin up. You just keep your chin up, Dave. Word, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing wrong. My chin was too low. Shut the fuck up, it's nothing to do with my chin, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. My chin was too low. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Keep your chin up. What kind of shit is this? See niggas walking around show business. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm fine. So, and this girl I knew sent me a book called The Secret. She was like, listen, David, this is gonna help you. It's called The Secret. I, you know, I thought, it should, you know. And I started reading the book and I read like five pages of shit and, and threw it in the tray. I was fucking, I can't believe they sell this shit. Do you know what this bitch says The Secret of Life is? She said it was positive imagery. You gotta visualize the things you wanna have happen in your life. Like, bitch, that's the secret of life to you? <laughs> then kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's got to mean more than that. Positive imagery. The bitch fly to Africa and telling them starving children that shit. What's wrong with you? I have not eaten in five days. What you need to do is visualize some roast beef and some mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, please, bitch, you're killing me. Stop talking like that. No, 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 no. The problem is you have a bad attitude about starving to death. <laughs> <laughs> got, they got a real life uh, paparazzi. I see you. Fucking thing I am. What do you think is the game? <laughs> Watching out for the media. Nigga. I'm like Bigfoot, nigga. When people see me, they freak the fuck out. <laughs> Even other celebrities get surprised and say, "What the fuck?" Hey, thanks. <laughs> Come on, you only got 10 minutes. God damn. <laughs> so I know it's good. I don't have any material. <laughs> that, is, that stuff's for pussies. <laughs> Every time I see this backdrop, I think about Kramer fucking up. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't, I don't want to see no camera phones on my ass tonight. It's <laughs> Cause my, I'm telling you right now, my, you know, like I'm not wrapped too tight. Like they, they putting a lot of that corporate pressure on me. So I, this might be the night that I, this might be the night that I snap, and you got, yeah. you guys be lucky. It's like having tickets to see Siegfried and Roy the night that tiger bit that motherfucker's throat. He's like, I was there when that Chappelle freak. I was there. Cause that's why we really go to the tiger show, right? You know. <laughs> You don't go to see somebody be safe with tigers. You go <laughs> thinking in the back of your mind, like, this nigga might get bit. <laughs> I'd like to see that in person for $35 if I could. <laughs> Never seen somebody get bit by a tiger before. <laughs> Only $35. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I, I'll tell you the truth, when I seen Kramer's tape, I learned about myself. You know what I learned? I think I'm only like 20% black and, and 80% comedian. You know what I mean? And uh, black dudes can relate. You know what I mean, bro? Like when you saw that shit, you was furious, right? Black dude me was like, Kramer, you motherfucker. Like, I was hurt. And the comedian me was just like, whew, niggas having a bad set. Hang in there, Kramer. Don't let him break you, Kramer. Oh, I wish I was there so bad. Because, you know, you know, in the back of his mind, he was thinking, I'll get him the next show. <laughs> there won't be a next show, Kramer. Phew. <sighs> Kramer got dog exploded, boy. Lost his shit. Lost it. He completely ruined this legacy with that one outburst, man. Tainted it anyway. Damn. Oh, man. We got to protect Dave at all costs, y'all. We got to protect the GOAT, man. We got to protect the Dave at all costs, man. No more Dave getting rushed on stage or rushed anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dave in typical Dave fashion though joked about it soon, soon, soon as he get, uh, soon as he got back on the mic. You know what I mean? I think he went back there and got a few stumps in too though. <laughs> I think a little bit of everybody got some stuff. Uh, uh, according to how I do look, you know what I'm saying? I look like everybody got a few stumps in on him. But all right, man, uh, put in the comments what you want me to react to next, and I'm going to get right on it, man. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notifications on. And if you subscribe, check to make sure you still subscribe because YouTube will unsubscribe you for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. They need to stop playing them games, all right? All right, roll the 10K, man. Let's get, get, get it, all right? Mm -hmm.